Greetings everyone. Welcome to the part 2. In the part 1 we have seen that how we can convert EEG data from CSV file to MNE format. This step might be different for you depend upon which data set are you using but once you convert the data into MNE format the rest of thing remains same for you whether it is conversion to image whether it is training the model whether you are using 1D CNN, 2D CNN LSTM or machine learning. We have seen in previous series how we can convert data from different sources to MNE format and now we are seeing how we converted the data from CSV to MNE format. Once you convert the MNE format, you need to convert the data into scalogram. For that let us create a empty folder scalogram which you can see here that we got a folder scalogram and this is an empty one and next we need to convert our signal using squeeze pie into image let me take one example of this signal and then we will see it in more detail but before that let import these libraries and to take the data okay this is the command that convert the signal to image that what should be the x the size of test is 14,384 but we can't pass it to the continuous variable transform function let me put it again test dot shape this accept our two dimensional data but this is our three dimension data if i try to pass it it will give me an error the error is x must be 1d or 2d but we go and m equal to 3 so we have to do remove the epochs like select the first epoch and then pass the channels and the sequence length to the data let me do this like this is what we are passing is a 14 channel data with one epoch we can also pass with one channel let's select if i select one channel i get only sequence length so if i select one channel you can see that i do not get any error so let's remove this and pass 14 channel and 384 sequence length data the next is <coughs> i have to view this that how this look like for that squeeze pipe provide a function i am show and we can use I am sure to see this. I believe we need to pass this WX and it gives me an error. Okay, let me maybe we have to use this plot function. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. For plotting basically you have to remove this 14 why because because in matplot you can either plot with three channels or with one channel that is either you can plot an rgb image or a grayscale image so let me select first channel to plot this and this is what i get a plot but i have to see a image better image which is actually scalogram so i'm going to use i'm sure and this is what I got. So what is the point we need to take that if we have to plot it we can we cannot pass a data with 14th channel we have to pass a data either with 3 channel or with no channel so we are passing with no channel or you can consider it as a one channel. So this is how our scalogram look like. So let me go to this next function next cell which is basically iterating all groups here we have seen that one group basically group one and now we are iterating all groups one by one and we are dropping the subject id video id and then we are selecting the label subject and after that we are also dropping the label column this is similar we have seen that once we converted the data to mne format we need to enumerate the data we need to loop the data why are we are looping the data because we can't pass all the loop 
because we can't pass all the trials or epochs to this function. We can pass this without with a single trial or with a single epoch, which we have seen there where we selected the first epoch or trial. After that, I'm going to pass this continuous variable transform function where I'm selecting modelet as a function and I got the wx and scale. I'm going to take the absolute of the wx because we get an imaginary number with wx and I do not need that imaginary number. I only need the real number. So once we got the wx, this shape of wx is similar to 14, 230, 384. I'm going to save this in the former numpy format in the folder I have created. So I create a path where I combine the scaleogram and the group number. That let's say my group number is 0, my group is 1 and I'm going to combine this with this scaleogram and create a new folder in the scaleogram folder that is group number, that is first group number. When I created this group number, when I created this path which is by OS make this, I created a path in scaleogram, this video, this sub, 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 in the scaleogram I created another folder based on the group. Let's say if I have 14 groups, then I have 14 subfolder in scaleogram folder. In the first folder, let's say group number 0, I save all the trials of uh, that group. Let me run that and this will make things easier for you and this step will also take time and one, or one other disadvantage of this technique is that it takes a lot of space in the day and this is a very slow technique because you have to convert your signal into image and this process takes a lot of time as compared to 1D convolution neural network. This is a slow process. So in the next part we will see once it has been completed I will show you how this look like. We have seen that various folders have been generated. If I click on one folder uh, look like you can see that there are now multiple trials of that group. For example this is basically group 1 3 which you can see here group 1 3. All the trials of this group is in this folder. So this has been completed as the data set is very small this doesn't take a lot of time and this is like similar thing we have shown at how we can display this scaleogram. The next thing I have to convert this path of this trial the level and the group number. For example this scaleogram sub video 00, zero that is group 1 the trial 0 has the path is given then we have level as 0 and group as 0. Why we are taking creating groups? We have seen this in much detail that we need to split on the basis of group. You can watch the previous videos to understand this concept more clearly. The next part is about training of these images and we will see in next video. Thank you.